New information from public health experts about a tuberculosis investigation linked to a daycare in Chiviet. Hamilton County Infection Control Specialists announced today their investigation is now complete. Medical reporter Liz Bonus broke the story and is here to tell us what's being done to keep this contained. Liz? Hey guys, good evening. The Hamilton County testing team confirmed today there were three individuals with positive tests among all those who they considered for testing. None of them had active TB infections. The public health team, along with the help of Cincinnati Children's Hospital, has now begun the monitoring phase. And that means they will follow those found to be at risk and begin steps to make sure nothing like this happens again in our community. Now, you may recall that investigation started after an employee at the Layla House Learning Center was found to have a confirmed case of TB. The health department began testing, announced today 46 contacts were tested and or received medical evaluations. Those tested uh, were potentially exposed, which included mainly those in close contact in the daycare, as well as staff and family members. Now, of the three positive tests they found, none have had an active tuberculosis case. They all have started antibiotic therapy, the three of them, to prevent an infection that might come up later on. There were 27 potential contacts, the health department says, still they've not been able to locate or contact for an interview and determine their exposure or risk. So now they're working on sending a second letter to area providers this week. It will remind these healthcare providers to be on the lookout for any remaining potential contacts should someone come into the office that may have been exposed or who might even have symptoms of TB. I talked with Tim Ingram about who that might be when this inv investigation was first announced. The protocols for, uh, for testing um, for uh, potential exposure to tuberculosis is when the sick person who may have exposed other people, in this case children, uh, we go back three months from the date of when they became, uh, their symptoms began. So anyone who might have come in contact with that person within the last three months would need to be tested or evaluated. Now on another interesting note, Commissioner Ingram says his team now working on a policy that would require daycare workers to be tested for tuberculosis prior to employment. That policy now being drafted. They hope to announce the next step soon in getting that to be mandatory. A lot of healthcare providers right now, I do this regularly as I go into operating rooms, we're regularly tested for TB to make sure that you're not at risk. Rob? Liz, thanks very much. We have a link to more information on the tuberculosis testing, symptoms, and recovery from the Hamilton County Public Health Department at local12.com.